When did you know it was time to leave Australia? When long necks, tallies became $10. Okay, today's the day to prep this vehicle for sales because as you know, I've been harping on about it for a long time. You're probably getting sick of hearing it that I don't have any savings at all. So selling this old classic Australian old Commodore Ute from the year 2001 is going to fund a big portion of my move. Before I sell it, there's a couple of cosmetic niggly things that I feel like I need to fix up um, in order to get, you know, the 5,000 Australian bucks or so that I'm hoping for. The percentage of time I spent on my self-care the last week, week and a half, has been hovering around 0%. Why is that? So to make sure that I'm not leaving the country with heaps of things owing, I've been working as much as I can. And when I find myself working as much as I can, I spend zero time, zero time on looking after myself. All I've been doing is, is sleeping, eating, going to work, coming back, working on the car, rinse and repeat, which is partly why I know I can't keep doing this. I can't, I can't keep it up. I need to move to a city that's cheaper to live in. Phone holder. There's something I should have got a few days ago. Never miss out on an opportunity to collect a box when you're moving house. One of the failings of these old Commodores is that they used plastic in this side panel and they hit about 20 years old and they, every single car just disintegrates. So today I'll be plugging that gap with some expander foam. Ooh, ooh. It comes out like whipped cream. Look at that. Okay, how's that looking? That's going to go hard. I can sand it back and then putty it up, then paint it. And the benefit of that is I don't need to, I don't know, travel back in time to 2001 to buy a plastic part that doesn't exist anymore. So game plan with selling this car. Hoping to get about 5,000 Australian dollars, three and a half thousand US give or take, we'll see. My main priority has been fixing up the outside. So cosmetically, it's very presentable. You know, in the engine bay, there might be some oil leaks and that might drive the price down, but we'll see, fingers crossed. So how does the sale of the car translate to moving overseas? In order to secure a condo in John Tien, I am planning on paying at least six months up front, probably 12 months up front. Most of the proceeds of the car sale, I can dump on that. I won't have to worry in my head about paying for rent. I think that's a comfortable way of easing into Thai life. Oh, that's fucking working. Not, not well at all. I can let it go too hard, too much harder, eh? Yeah. It's not going to kick. No. Too late, mate. Hard. Rookie. <laughs> so this 20-year-old piece of sun-damaged plastic can't be replaced. I can't find it online anyway. So the only alternative was to bog it up. I needed to get in behind the panel to give it some support. Some expanding foam spray, stuck it down there, and the foam went all the way behind that panel down to the bottom. But then I came back with the fiberglass bog and put layer number one there. Of course, task number two today is get rid of this dented old tailgate because I can't panel beat it, it's too far gone. So I picked this one up second hand, a nice, much, much better one for $150. So we'll take the old one off and try and bolt the new one on. Old one, new one. To be honest, I think this is the first time I've dedicated to doing exercise in the last two weeks. Terrible. Did anyone see Casey's video two nights ago? Take one for Bangkok. He was complaining about all the litter. I fucking hate it too. So a couple of videos ago, you would have heard me talking about going and getting a script of medication continually and how annoying it is. So I thought to myself, I need to get a big load of that medication and take it with me in case I can't get it in Thailand. I went to a new local doctor who gallantly prescribed me six months ahead. So that was very nice of her. But she said something that I'd never heard a doctor say to me ever before in the last 10 years. She said, Sam, you're on the maximum dose of this particular medication. 
and that dosage is something that we prescribe to people that only have major depressive illness. Now obviously I've been going to doctors and psychs you know, on and off for the last 15 odd years, but never ever has a clinician ever used those three words to me. I've always interpreted it in a different way. I've always thought to myself, oh, you know, you just have on average lower moods than some people um, and sometimes a bit of anxiety. But then on paper, when you look at the medication that you require to keep you functioning at 100% every day, it kind of tells the story. Not a self-pity party, just something interesting yesterday. It's a guy, guy. North Sydney Council has created a beautiful fountain for us. Take the old badge off. Yeah, there she is. This is my friend Grumpy Scott. Alright, progress shot. This side buffed, this side not. All taped up for primer. If you know paint, you know aerosol. It likes to get absolutely everywhere. It's probably not even enough masking. This section. All right, now onto this side. So I removed the drop sheets from that side, stuck them on there to protect against that overspray, plus recycle. A little bit of etch primer for the metal sections, and when the etch primer dries, a little bit of acrylic primer filler. While that's drying, I'm going to do the windscreen wipers. Good. Alas, that's all I can fit in today. Off to work. Hello Maggie, you've come to say hello this morning, have you? Give us a kiss, mate. Well, a completely shitty day for painting. Not hot enough. Ripped into it anyway. Here's something interesting you may or may not have in Thailand. <laughs> in the bus shelters around Sydney, people set up communal book sharing sites where you leave a book and you take someone else's book. Ain't that cute? Fucking meanwhile in Sudan. Yeah. Alright, bright and early Sunday morning we're at Scotty's house again. So I ended up putting the black base coat on last night but today we'll do some wet sanding and then the clear coat. Okay, all masked up. Time to hit it with the very cheap but workable clear coat. There's no mask for the cameraman mate. Yeah, sorry mate, your lungs are already <laughs> shot. <laughs> Trying to keep it quite light, like a tack coat to start with, give, give it five or ten minutes and then start to do thicker and thicker coats. Ta da! Easy, Casey, I've spotted something that you would really appreciate in Bangkok. Check this out. It's a sign for when there's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> 